This video is sponsored by Santa Cruz Software. Hey everybody, my name is Mark Heaps and this is my 3 minute max tip for Adobe Illustrator. Let's dive in. So I'm going to grab my layer 1 over here and press the selection button. You can see this allows you to target select anything that's on that layer, but I don't have anything on this layer which means that under appearance, you can see it currently has layer and contents chosen. What I'm gonna do here is go up to effect and say distort and transform, transform. And I'm gonna do some math here, or at least I'm gonna let Illustrator do some math. I'm gonna tell it, I wanna do a rotation of 360 degrees divided by with a forward slash, and let's say seven. When I press tab, it'll calculate that as 51.43 degrees. And I'm gonna say, okay, I want six copies, six plus one of the original, that gives me seven, and we'll press OK. Now we're not gonna see anything because I don't have any objects on the layer, but the transform shows over here that it's been applied. So now I could do another effect like distort and transform, transform again, and this time I'm just gonna say that I wanna do a reflect X, which makes a copy with one, it gives me a little mirroring effect, we'll press OK here. And now I have two elements that are stacked on this layer. So what I'm gonna do here now is go ahead and grab an object like the ellipse tool. I'm gonna to draw a circle over here. I'm holding shift to constrain proportions. We drag this down. We're gonna align this to the artboard. This way the circle holds the center position and everything within it will be rotated. And now you can see I've got a sub layer with that ellipse on it. And what I'm gonna do here is then create another new layer drag that down with inside this layer set, and I'm gonna lock the ellipse two layer. Now I don't need to see this anymore, so I'm gonna turn the visibility of that off. And here in layer two, if I was to grab the pencil tool, I can now go in here, make sure that I don't have a fill, and when I draw, you'll see it actually makes a duplicate and a rotation of seven. And so this is a fun way to play inside of Adobe Illustrator when you're just trying to do some flourishes or some sort of spirograph or mandala design. You just kind of play and have fun. So this is something that I've been playing with a lot during the break is how to stack my effects to get some interesting kind of flourish art. And then just to finish this off, we'll go ahead and select everything. Again, what you see there, that's all that I drew, but it's doing all those rotations and copies. So we'll go in here and make it a thicker weight. We're gonna change our stroke to being rounded, having a nice tapered profile, maybe fill this with a different color. Press OK, and there is my mandala design using effects stacked as a layer selection in Adobe Illustrator. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.